Hello friends, this video on straight lines part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. To start the advanced concept of straight lines, we should know some basic information on straight lines. For example, we should know what is straight line. Straight line is nothing but a geometrical object that is straight, infinitely long and infinitely thick. Let me repeat once again. It is a geometrical object that is straight, infinitely long, infinitely thin. Plus, its location is defined by two or more points whose coordinates are known. For example, we have two points, let's suppose this and this. Coordinates of this is 2, comma 3, and this is let's suppose 3, comma 5. Line joining these two points will be called a straight line. So if you join these two points, what you get is a straight line. For example, this line I am drawing is a straight line. Also, distance between two points P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 is denoted by root over x1 minus x2 square plus root over y1 minus y2 square. These concepts you already learned in your early classes. If you are given two points, for example, this one and this one, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2, you want to find a difference between these two, you can use this formula. Also, we know that if you have a line segment, for example, this is a line you have, and you want to divide this ratio, this line right into m into n ratio. And this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, y2, coordinates of this point. And coordinates of this point. So if you know this and if you want to find the coordinates of these point, the so coordinates of this point will be nothing but this mx2 plus nx1 by mn plus m plus n and y coordinates for this point will be m by 2 plus n y1 by m plus n. We know this. We know this if there is a line, we know the points n points of the line and if you divide this line into m into n ratio, the point which divides that line into m into n ratio will be denoted by this value. Also, we know that if we have a triangle uh, whose coordinates are known x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, then we can find the area. Area is nothing but 1 by 2 mod. This is x1 minus x2, and this is x1 minus x3. This is y1 minus y2. This is y1 minus y3. Also, we know that. If the area of a triangle ABC is 0, that means all these three points ABC lie in a single line, that is, they are collinear. Let me repeat, we know a definition of line. It is just a straight geometrical object that is infinitely long and infinitely thin, and we know two or more locations of that line. Distance between two points P1 and Q is denoted by root x1 minus x2 square plus root in the whole root y1 minus y2 square where x1 y1 and x2 y2 are coordinates of point p and q the coordinates of point dividing the line segment if this is a line segment with end point x1 y1 x2 y2 and it, it is divided in the ratio m by n then if this is the point let's suppose p then the coordinates of point p is m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n and the y coordinates for p will be m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n. Also, area of triangle with three vertices given is this one. And if the area of triangle is zero, that means all these three points are collinear. That is, they lie in a straight line. Now, what we will study? We will study slope of line. We will study perpendicular and parallel lines. We will study various forms of equations of line. Various forms of equation of line includes horizontal and vertical lines, point slope form, two point form, slope intercept forms, intercept form, normal form. Also, we'll, we'll study different form of, this is a spelling mistake, this will be distant, distant form of ax plus by, this is ax plus by plus z is equal to z, this is z. So we'll study different form of this equation and they are slope intercept form, intercept form and normal form. 
Now first we study slope of line. Slope of line L is tan theta. So if this is a line, this line makes angle theta with positive x-axis. Please note, it is a positive x-axis. Positive x-axis. This is theta. Then tan theta is nothing but slope of the line. So for this line L, for this line L, slope is tan theta. Here as I told, theta is nothing but angle made with positive direction of the x-axis and it is measured anti-clockwise. So in this direction we will measure. This is theta. And slope is only uh, denoted by m. So here we say m is equal to tan theta for line and line is denoted by l. So m is denotion for slope m is equal to tan theta. Tan theta where theta is the angle that line makes with positive direction of x axis measured in anti-clockwise direction. Now if we have to find the slopes of the line where coordinates are given. For example, we have this line, we don't have theta here. We know this value, we know this p and we know q. This is p we know and q we know. p is x1 y1, q is x2 y2, we know this. Now what we have to do, here tan theta will be, the slope will be y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x2. We can prove this, in the last slide we were told that m is equal to tan theta, correct, where theta is the angle made by the line with the positive direction of x-axis. So here we see this is theta, if you extend this line here, this is the theta. We will draw a parallel line here, this, is, this line is parallel to this line. This line is parallel to this line. That is, PM is parallel to OR. Now, theta, this this angle will be equal to this angle because these lines are parallel. So, this is theta here. Now, we know that tan theta is nothing but P by B. This we have learned in trigonometric schedule. We, we know that Pandit, Badri, Prashad, Hari, Hari, Bol. We have this formula. This is uh, sin, this is cos, and this is tan. So we know that tan is p by b. So tan is p by b. So here p is qm, that is qm by b is nothing but pm. Now value of qm is nothing but, if this is x2, y2, here if you see, the x coordinate will change. It will be, let's suppose, x dash. But the y will be same because it is parallel line. So this, is, this point is nothing but x dash y1. Correct? Since this line is parallel to x axis, here also y1, here also y1, here also. You go, you take any coordinates in this line, y1 will be same. So this is x dash y1. Similarly, now if you take this line, here it will always be x2. This is x2, this is x2, this is x2. So this guy will become x2 instead of x dex. So this point is nothing but x2, y1. How we got this point? This line, line QR, is parallel to Y axis. So it will have a constant value of X. And here it is X2. So you take any point here. If you take this point, here it will be X2. You take this point, here it will be X2. Any point will be X2. So we know that X coordinates for point M is X2. Similarly so for Y coordinates, we took, we know that this line, that is line PM is parallel to line OR. It is, it is parallel to X axis. So it will have a constant value of Y. And we know that here the value of y is y1. So you take any point here, it will be y1, it will be y1, it will be y1, any point. So this becomes x2 y1. Now if you want to find the length of qm, that is nothing but y2 minus y1. Because this line, you have to find the length of this line, it is y2 minus y1. Or we can use the formula, the formula we have, I will say length L of qm is equal to root over x2 uh, root over x coordinates difference square plus y coordinates difference square that is x2 minus x2 square plus y2 minus y1 square so x2 minus x2 square is equal to 0 so this becomes root of y2 minus y1 square and this is nothing but y2 minus Correct? 
So QM is nothing but Y2 minus Y1. Similarly for PM, now let's take PM. So length of PM will be difference in X coordinates and difference in Y coordinates between P and M. So this is equal to root of, here it is X1, this is Y X2. So we'll say X1 minus X2 square plus, this is Y1 and this is also Y1. P and M both have same Y coordinates. So this is Y1 minus Y1 square. So this becomes, this becomes zero. So this becomes root of x1 minus x2 square. So this becomes x1 minus x2. Actually mod of because we will take positive value. So I'll put here x1 minus x2. So what we have got tan theta is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Let me write once again m is equal to tan theta and that is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is x2 minus x1. I can make x1 because this is a mod actually. Root of this is a mod. So I can write x1 minus x2 also or x2 minus x1 also. It's one and the same thing. So I'll take mod of this. So tan theta is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So in this case we will take x2 minus x1. Why? Because x2 is greater than x1. And here we will take y2 minus y1 because y2 is greater than y1. So you don't need mod here. So if you say this one, this is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Because y2 is greater than y1, this guy is positive and x2 minus x1. So this guy is also positive. The whole thing is positive. So tan theta is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So if we are given a line with two coordinates, y1, y2 and x1, x2, we can find the slope of the line. We can use this formula tan theta is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Please pay attention to this formula. This is a little crucial, crucial formula. We'll be using this formula. So we have two formulas now to find the slope. First thing, if we know the angle that the line makes with the positive axis, we can directly say m is equal to tan theta. If we don't know the angle that line makes, but if we know the two coordinates, then we can say slope is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Let's take some example where we have to find the slopes. First case we are asked to find the slope of a line that is passing through 3 minus 3 minus 1 5. So let me draw this line. So let's suppose this is the line and this is 3, this is minus 3 and this is minus 1 5. We just plot this point. Now, we want to find the slope, we know that slope is equal to, sorry, m is equal to, we have this formula, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. With this formula, we will place the value. y2 is here, this is, let's suppose, y1, this is uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. So, y2 is 5 y1 is minus 3, 5 minus minus 3 by x2 is minus 1 minus x1 is 3. So what we get is 5 minus minus 3 is equal to 8 and minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 4. So this becomes minus 2. So slope of this line is minus 2. Very simple. We have used this formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And then we have told that we have put the values and we have got the answer. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. Here we are told that the line makes inclination of 45 degree with positive direction of x axis. And we have to find the slope. So this is case 2. Here we know that m is nothing but tan of theta. Where theta is the angle with the positive x axis. And we are told that angle with the positive x axis is 45 degree. So this is nothing but tan of 45 degree and that is 1. Very simple. We know the formula. M is equal to tan theta where theta is angle with the positive direction of x axis. We had this value. We have put this value and we have got m is equal to tan 45 is equal to 1. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors.
انمشبو 